Are you tired of spending money on the disposable wet jet Swiffer pads and refills? We can just make our own. Here's how I sew my reusable Swiffer wet jet pads. I begin by cutting a 12 inch square from a piece of terry cloth fabric. I use a piece of scrapbook paper for my cutting template because it's a perfect 12 inch square. You could also use an old towel for this step as well. Next, you'll fold your 12 inch square in half. I like to pin the edges to prepare for sewing. We're also going to leave a four inch opening in the middle of the long side opposite our folded edge. And then we'll sew our edges together we're going to use a half inch seam allowance for this step. And we'll do it on one side of the opening and then repeat on the other side of the four inch opening. And then once our seams are completed, we're going to clip the corners of our piece. This will help us to have nice sharp edges for the next step, which is turning our piece right side out. And we're going to do that through the opening that we left. I like to also use my scissors to help get my corners turned nice and sharply. This works well, but you do have to be gentle because your scissors is a sharp tool to use for this step. Then I also like to give my piece a quick ironing because that helps to get those raw edges that are folded in nice and crisp so that you can move on to our next step. And our next step is to top stitch around the entire piece. And we're going to use a quarter inch seam for this, which is the width of your presser foot. And this will also enclose the raw edges of that opening. And I hope you're enjoying my 40 year old sewing machine in this video. It still works great and it gets the job done. Next, we're going to add two strips of Velcro. This is three quarter inch Velcro. We're going to place it one inch from our edges. And this is just the fuzzy side of the Velcro that we're using. And then we're going to sew that to our piece, sewing a seam nice and close to the edges of the Velcro. And now your homemade wet jet pad is ready to use. The fuzzy Velcro is going to stick to the bumpy edges on the edge of your wet jet mop. So now you just need to turn it over and stick it on and you're ready to do some mopping. You made your own reusable wet jet pad. Now you can also make your own refill solution for your wet jet. The hardest part is getting the cap off. We use something called a channel lock or a groove pliers, and that's how we got our cap off. So now it's ready to be refilled. I like to use a funnel for this step. First, I use two cups of distilled water. Distilled water is a nice choice, especially if you have hard water. Then after the distilled water, I add a half a cup of rubbing alcohol. This is also a nice choice because it evaporates quickly when it's on your floor. This is also called isopropyl alcohol. You can use either the 91% or the 70%. And the last ingredient I add is just a squirt of dish soap. I currently have Dawn dish soap, but any type of dish soap will work for this step. And you can replace the cap and give the bottle a little shake to mix things together. And then it's ready to be inserted back into your wet jet mop. For more do-it-yourself ideas, visit my website at themakeyourownzone.com. Thanks for watching.